Jesse, welcome back. Great to have you. Megan, I feel like this is going to make me sound old, but I have two boys too. And I know exactly what Abby is going through because I used to, like when I grew up, but when we were kids, I remember the cousins would come over to the house on Friday night, and the parents would eventually kick us all downstairs, and we were all done. And we would turn on ABC. I'm almost positive it was ABC. Thank God it's Friday, ABC. And we would sit and watch Full House and Family Matters yep. and all these shows that were just normal families, and they taught you know values, don't steal, don't lie, that kind of a thing. And it's, it feel, I feel like I'm not that old. But man, I would never do that with my sons now, not in a million no. years. You couldn't. No, you're 100% right. My, my uh, little guy, Thatcher, he's nine. He was just asking me, Mom, what's your favorite television series ever? And uh, like, he was looking specifically for a series. And first I said The Practice, because I absolutely love that by David E. Kelly. I could watch that over and over and over. Uh, but then I corrected myself. I said, actually, my favorite ever was Little House on the Prairie. I watched it my entire childhood. And then he said, how, how long did you watch it? And I said, I got to be honest, I watched it through my young 30s. I was practicing law in Manhattan. It was like a stress reliever for me. I'd put it on. And it is. It's just like good values and good stories and sort of reinforcement in a family of family values. You know, it's crazy what they're putting on television today. It's insane. It, honestly, the commercials are worse than what the product. Listen to how old we sound. But it's true. The, the <laughs> no, commercials are as bad as anything. I'm Tipper Gore. Actual TV. And I, I think part of this is just I want to go back to that America where and it's not that I want to park my kids in front of the TV all day. I would like it to be an option. I've got to go do yeah. some tours around in the a house. I, I can't watch it. Yeah. Can I leave you there for an hour? I would never <laughs> do that. Now, I'd rather leave them with a table saw. <laughs> It's so true. Wait a minute. We might as well just go to that story because we're on it and it's shocking. It was being tweeted around today. Um, and let me just make sure I have my facts correct. Okay, so it's on the Disney Channel. It is a show called The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, which is a reboot oh. from a series that first launched back in 2001. Uh, Disney, it hit Disney Plus in early 2022. So season two just dropped. It's got 10 new episodes, and it's about a girl named Penny Proud and her family. All right, so this is supposed to be, according to Disney, laugh out loud stories while highlighting culturally specific experiences of the Black community and addressing universal topics. Well, <laughs> okay, here's a little snippet of what Disney Plus is offering our children now as just a quick, quick look at, let's say, America. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. Tilled this land from sea to sea to sea. First there was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. Then Whitney did his thing and cotton became king. And we were its soldiers. Four, Four million, million strong. Fighting for America's freedoms, even though we remained America's slaves. slaves. Built this country. The descendants of slaves continue to build this. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend submerged in the systemic prejudice, racism, and white, white supremacy that America was founded with and still has not atoned for. We you made your families rich. From the southern plantation heirs to the northern bankers to the New England ship owners, the founding fathers, former presidents, current senators, the Illuminati, the New World Order, slaves built, built this country. We had Tubman, Turner, Frederick D. Didn't they say Lincoln freed the slaves? But slaves were men. And, and women. And only we can free ourselves. Emancipation, Emancipation is not freedom. freedom. Jim Crow, segregation, redlining public schools feeding private prisons where we become slaves again as we celebrate juneteenth for the umpteenth time our account is still outstanding because this country was built on slavery which means slaves, slaves built, built this country. country and we demand our 40 acres and a mule Bump that. you can keep the mule keep the 40 we're taking our freedom oh my god <laughs> jesse you know megan <laughs> This this goes to something that I think actually the right, uh, if I can speak at least briefly for the right, has failed on. And I, I volunteer that I am very much part of this. I've been part of this. For for how many years has the right said things like, you know, some idiot actor or actress will get up at the Oscars and give some crazy left-wing political speech and will say something like, no one cares what uh, George Clooney thinks. Or LeBron James will say something stupid. No one cares what LeBron James thinks. Well, that's not true at all. If you go look at the following of these people, there are millions and millions and millions of people who do care. 
entertainment is actually a critical cultural pillar. I mean, look, they were putting on plays in Roman times. We have TV now. It's part of guiding your culture for what you want them to be and what you don't want them to be. It's just more, more than anything, this is a reflection of what our culture has become. Just a big bunch of grievance mongering whiners. Everybody has something they hate about America. America sucks because of this and it sucks because of that. And again, they're started when the kids are as small as can be. This yeah. is on Nickelodeon Junior. It's not just Disney Plus. Kids platforms across the board, they're all this filth now. This is filth. This is absolute filth. Reparations, and we still want reparations. Systemic prejudice, racism, white supremacy still hasn't been atoned for. We made you rich. I mean the anger that they put in the mouths of these little kids. Meanwhile, as if any little kid walking around America today is like, we want reparations. They're trying to plant these ideas early. Think about how crazy this is. Somebody like you have been on the Manhattan legal scene. That's about as cutthroat business world as cutthroat business world gets. How crazy is it, Megan, that Disney is coming fresh off a year where board members, CEO had the CEO got the got the axe. Board members are sitting there looking at profit loss sheets showing $140 billion gone. Imagine having to present that to your board and how you're going to turn that around. And after all that, for all those losses, they choose to double and triple down on everything that has turned off American families. Right. It's honestly a little bit scary if you think about it. How many high-powered jobs there are that operate with no regard for their job or no regard for the fiduciary responsibility to the shareholder at all. It's all activism all the time. It's crazy that this is allowed to go on in the boardroom. It's like they're trying to make these children hate America, oh, yeah. hate America. It's literally the opposite of what you get in China, where it's like mandatory um, nationalism, mandatory you know homage to the flag, which uh, pieces of it are appealing. Uh, this is the opposite, trying to make them hate the country from a very tender age. And honestly, just the racism of it. Okay, so this is a this is a channel that's supposed to appeal, I guess, to black families. Uh, what, what black families? What, what are they just assume black families all hate America and want to talk about rep, demand reparations and how we've we haven't made it past slavery? Like who 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 are the black families they're hanging out with? Well, that's actually a good that's a good question, Megan, because this is a big problem we have. And that America is so divided now. Now, that's a very common thing to say. We're, we're divided. We're divided. But let me let me explain for a second. We have urban America. You know, you have L.A., New York, Chicago. And I love those cities. I actually have a blast in all of them. But they are very, very separate and very different from the values of the vast sea of the land of America. If you look at like a congressional map of America, it's all red. You look at it and think, wow, that must be the most Republican co country ever. But it's not. Because... All the entertainment is only made in those tiny areas. And even the people who make these Disney shows and crap like that, they live, work, and worship exclusively around people who share nothing in common with what people would consider to be flyover country. Therefore, there's no equal representation of values anymore on television because none of those people have any connection to how normal people live or what normal people go through. That's the truth. Jesse and the first are now taking over the new Newsmax slot. You know, Newsmax went away. They didn't struck a deal with DirecTV. The first is going on there. So you may be sad about your Newsmax friends, but the first has people like Jesse Kelly, Dana Lash, a lot of our friends. So you'll love that.